All right, guys. Well, it's a pretty nice uh, Sunday afternoon here in the end times in Chickamauga, Georgia. I think it's only 14 degrees colder in Georgia than New York today. And uh, I am sitting here trying to figure out the next week or so of my life about uh, how and when I'm getting back to New York, baby. But one thing, you're thinking of all of this work that I have to do. One of, one of my 500 jobs is I've got to figure out how to, how to tackle this uh, noxious weed called Slippery Dock. I don't know if Slippery Dock... Uh, Basil, if you're listening to this, can you let me know? I don't know if this shit uh, is an exotic species, but it sure as hell is an invasive weed, and it has a taproot about this big, and you can't pull the shit out of the ground. Bugs in a Jar Farm is getting overrun by this shit called Slippery Dock. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking of, uh, you know, of my choices. I mean, I don't want to just hose down uh, bugs in a jar farm with, with goddamn Roundup. But it's just gotten to the point this shit is going it, to, it, it's just going, it, it's going to overtake me. And uh, so I'm thinking how the shit and... Uh, I wish to hell this thing. I think it was Brother Aaron who sent me this. Um, you know, all of this talk, this fear mongering over, uh, over, uh, over AI. Oh no, did I, uh, did I erase this? Uh, here we go. Uh, but here is one AI idea I can 100% get behind. I guarantee you guys, if this were available, if I could go on to Amazon.com and, and buy one of these gadgets uh, for like under $200, you're damn straight I would be buying one. Why pull weeds when you can zap them with AI powered lasers, uh, an ag tech startup hopes farmers find salvation in its high tech weed eliminating machine. Uh, laser weed removal will launch thousands of back in my day stories about how older generations used to work the ground with their hands, pulling up weeds until they couldn't feel their fingers. And sure, Grandpa, that's great, but we will take the lasers. AgTech startup Carbon Robotics continues to pick up steam with its laser weeder. It's high tech farming machinery. Uh, what is laser weeder? A weed obliteration machine that uses proprietary, I bet, proprietary AI and computer vision technology for to the millimeter precision thinning of crop fields. Uh, so these machines, you know, they cost up to $50,000 right now. There are 30 industrial lasers, tracking cameras, uh, and a deep learning model on board. It can kill 200,000, 200,000 individual weeds per hour. Weeding by thermal energy means no damage to plants 
or disturbance of soil for scale the laser weeder is three Shaq O'Neill's wide, two Danny DeVito's long, and seven bowling pins tall. So right now what this is is just say you know it's used for uh, you know it's a startup so they're just you know testing this thing out in farm fields where I guess it's this newest gadget that just goes through but but guys it completely eliminates uh, you know digging weeds manually or, or spraying Roundup all over the place completely eliminates uh, herbicides and so uh, I, I hope they have it right that 200,000 weeds, these 30 lasers knocking out 200,000 weeds per hour and it, you know, it can hit a weed right next to a baby corn plant or something uh, and you better believe, you know, as they mention at the end of this article that it's not available you know like some little cell phone handheld gadget it's not available for home gardeners yet but it won't be long i guarantee you uh three cheers for ai that uh that uh they're going to be selling these things uh they're going to be selling this little laser gadget that you can program in slippery dock or whatever uh, the weeds you need to get rid of and just go around your property uh, and, and this thing will just be zapping uh, and taking out uh, the weed of your choice. I, uh, I, I am cheering this thing on. I am absolutely uh, in favor of this AI. Now, of course, guys, uh, it, it doesn't take long to figure out what could go wrong with this. Uh, like, number one, the technology could just go wrong, and it's supposed to you think that you have it, uh, you, you know, trained to uh, search and destroy the slippery dock on your property. Well, slippery dock looks a hell of a lot like spinach. Yeah, you know, and so your little your your, your little uh, slippery dock killing robot will misread your spinach patch and take out your spinach. There's that, but of course, uh, it, it seems like it would be a pretty simple operation for like uh, an enemy uh, warfare thing to develop some sort of drone. Uh, you know, to fly these things over uh, farm fields and, uh, and, and, and just program in corn, uh, lettuce, tomatoes, whatever, and, and just put this list of, uh, uh, of, of crops in there, send their little drones out in the middle of the damn night. Just, you, you know, you can see where this is going. Uh, you, you could... You could theoretically, uh, I, I mean, I'm assuming you could theoretically uh, put in any goddamn plant you want. Uh, it would be very easy to hack this thing, but uh, this is what's called the flip side of AI. But uh, you're damn straight, these things are going to be coming out. Uh, on, on to the home gardening market and you're damn straight that I'm going to be buying one when they do. Uh, I, I mean, uh, you, you can believe that goddamn uh, whoever the new Monsanto is is freaking out over this. Freaking out over this. Uh, I, I mean, it could put herbicide uh, companies out of business and then of course you better believe just as they're working on weeds they're going to start working on insects uh, you know where they target uh, wh whatever the insect is they're targeting and take a wild guess how that one once, once this jumps the shark 
these uh, lasers, you, you know, training them to kill out a particular species of plant. It's only, uh, you know, how big is the shark that you have to jump to start training these to kill individual species of animals. But uh, hell yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, start out with these rat infested islands that are, you know, where these rats are killing all these seabirds. Send these things out to search and destroy, kill every rat, send them down to uh, Australia, kill every rabbit, kill every fox. Uh, I would sure as hell, I don't know if you can differentiate a pit bull from other breeds of dogs. Uh, you know, I, I would pit these, these damn things. I would kill, sorry Sandy, uh, I would kill any domestic cat that is caught outside of a house. I am in full support of any uh, laser controlled whatever searching out and killing every single domestic cat outside of someone's home, killing it, vaporizing it. And then, of course, you know, the big dream is uh, clearly the, uh, the most invasive species on the planet. Uh, you know, you're thinking, well, so how could AI take out the human race? Well, okay, we already have the AI uh, to be trained to take out a dandelion to take out a dandelion and, and, and leave the spinach next to it. How, uh, you know, there is obviously a certain invasive species that these uh, little laser drones or whatever uh, could be taught to take out. So, uh, three cheers for AI. Anyway, I uh, just had to uh, share that little story with you. Uh, and I have got to figure out my route and my schedule. My uh, dear sweet sister managed to either severely sprain or break her ankle. You know, I was up there at that waterfall yesterday. So right after I made that video of that waterfall, my sister slipped and fell. And here I am again, uh, <laughs> taking care of a crippled old lady. And that's my new job, is taking care of crippled old ladies. So I don't know when I'm getting out of here, guys. But uh, do what you got to do. Don't you, little dog? But right now, I'm going to take the little dog out. I don't know. You don't look like you're in the mood for such an adventure. Bye, guys.